What are you up to now? You'll never believe what... What did you discover in the spellbook we found in the scriptorium? Salazar Slytherin's spellbook was a little difficult to interpret, but fascinating. Evidently, he encouraged teaching dark magic at Hogwarts. Neither the Imperious Curse nor the Killing Curse was unforgivable during his time. He believed students should be prepared to use dark magic when necessary, not to fear it. That's why we had to use Crucio to gain access to the scriptorium. He didn't want his knowledge shared with anyone who was afraid of the power of dark magic. It was hard to do, but casting Crucio was our only option. And I'm glad we did it, because in the spellbook I also found something else. References to a lost relic, which, from what I can tell, grants the holder the power to reverse dark magic curses. And you think this relic might be able to save Anne? Precisely. I plan to search for this relic, but I don't think we should tell anyone. Especially Ominous. He wouldn't understand. We need to tell him. He's the reason we found the book and he deserves to know what you've learned. You've seen how he frets about the Dark Arts. I promise I'll tell him when I found the relic. When I know more, I shall send an owl. And don't feel sorry for Ominous. Keeping this to ourselves for now is for his own good. I'll decide what's for my own good. Ominous, we were just about to get some air. Care to join? You're a liar, Sebastian. I heard everything. You swore you'd never engage in anything to do with dark magic again. No, I didn't. I said I understood you wanting that. I'd never swear to give up on finding a cure for Anne. You don't know when to stop, do you? I know when not to stop. Leave this alone, Ominous. I'll be on my way. I am not letting this go. Ominous, Sebastian meant well. I appreciate you telling Sebastian not to keep this from me, but going after that relic is not a good idea. Sebastian doesn't even realize it, but he's as irresponsible and reckless now as his parents were years ago. It's why they died. Poor Anne and Sebastian. That's why I can't understand Sebastian's recklessness. I've practically lost Anne. I can't lose Sebastian too. Please avoid anything to do with that spellbook. Those references in the book seem promising. Everything to do with Salazar Slytherin seems promising until it's too late. I hope Sebastian pursues this no further, but if you think he might, please let me know. It would mean a lot. Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? It was a wind that passed. 
I didn't keep you waiting, did I? Not at all. I was just at the post office. Gran told me to expect a package, but it looks as if she forgot to send it. She didn't send me an owl this week either. Perhaps she's busy with her research. What did you find out about the dragon you were tracking? I realised that she didn't know the poachers had her egg, so when she left Horntail Hall, she would have headed straight to her nest. I went back to the tent and tracked her flight. Well done. You certainly know what you're doing. I can't be certain, but I have an idea of one place she may have been heading. I thought we might go and see it for ourselves. Of course. Shall we leave now? If that's right, I want to see how she's faring if she had a collar on. And she's likely frantic about her egg. Here we are. I do think this is where we'll find her. The terrain's typical of where the breed would nest. I suspect it's how the poachers found her. Perhaps nabbed her first and then her egg. Dragons are hard enough to... You got all of that from simply standing here? You'd be surprised how easy it is to think like a... Shall we see if she's home? We only need to return her egg. You're making this sound simple. Hebrideans can be aggressive. She'll understand why we're here. Well then, let's find our dragon and return her egg. Wonderful. If she sees us flying about, she might take it as a sign of aggression or food. We should stay on foot. Oh, and one more thing. Let's not agitate her. Goodness knows she's been through enough already. I'm ready when you are. There she is, above us. She did make it home safely. Oh, good. It looks as if she wasn't collared like the other dragons. It's worth she doesn't seem to have spotted us yet. Let's hope it stays that way. I wonder how many they brought to capture her. At least ten, usually. <laughs> her eyesight is. I beg your pardon? I don't imagine the poachers fed her well, and from a distance we probably look exactly like sheep to her. Hebrideans love sheep. How lucky for us. Watch your step. Just raring for a fight. Quiet, what was that?
It's a little too warm, if you ask me. I don't suppose she listened to reason. I've normally tried, but we're well past that. Why is every bridge here broken? Repair her. Now, if we just return her egg, we can hopefully make it out without too much fuss. Creatures are a lot cleverer than most people really. That's what Gran always says. The important thing is that we survived it. And we returned her egg. Thank you for doing this with me. Shall we head back? I'm ready if you are. I am. After our dragon rescue at Hauntel Hall, I half expect to be ambushed by poachers any time I'm not in the castle. Understandable. We did sabotage their fighting ring and steal a dragon egg from them. True. True. So why haven't they come after us? It's... Unless what? Unless they haven't let things lie. Oh no, I can't believe I didn't see it. We need to leave. I need to send an owl. How could I have been so blind?
Off on another adventure, are we? Mysterious and a bit unsettling. What to do? You're here. Good. Sebastian, that relic you mentioned? I believe one of Slytherin's students stumbled upon the relic during an assignment to study sarcophagi in this catacomb. From what I read in a report by the student, they weren't permitted to take it with them, so I must assume it's still here. As I mentioned earlier, this relic grants its holder the power to reverse dark magic curses. If it's in this catacomb, I have to find it. For Anne. I need to see her. I'm ready to explore the catacomb. Perhaps we can visit Anne when we've finished. Perfect. By the way, Ominous has been asking about you. You didn't tell him what we were doing, did you? I didn't. I promise. Good. Ominous would be livid if he knew what we were about to do. I'll be interested to compare what lies inside to what I've read about this catacomb. I'm sure that foul smell is the scent of success. Try not to lose your nerve just yet. At least now we know we're not alone in here. Perhaps that was it. Akio, the rest of the tomb will be insect free. Yeah, spiders aren't insects. Don't start. Incendio! Loft. Brilliant. We've read the world of the spider. I shall sleep better tonight. Incendio! Now this is the sort of great room I want to be buried in. Surrounded by grandeur. Grandeur and then some. Bones outside a sarcophagus. Seems odd. There's something here by the altar. What did you find? Akio!
looks like part of a student's diary. It mentions plans to return for the relic and conjuring barricades using bones. Of course. The student summary referenced a space beyond the Great Room, which means this can't be a dead end. I have the report if you want to have a look. Let's divide and conquer. You work on sorting out the bone barricades. I'll look around and see what we missed. Hold on to that diary entry. There may be more to it. It does mention something else. It says their next assignment was learning the Imperius curse. Really? Interesting. We need to focus on moving beyond this room. But let me think for a moment. Of course. I'll start to search for those barricades. Brilliant. There's more to this than even I imagined. Akio! Oh, is snacked oddly on either side of this archway. Leave no stone unturned. Or in this case, no bone. We're in a tomb. I assume eerie sounds come with the territory. Akio! Arrest on the Lots of bone rattle. Accio. Wingardium Leviosa. You've done it. I knew we'd get through. I felt it in my bones. Nice. Before we trudge on further, I've just realized something. The student's diary mentions the Imperius curse. I wouldn't be surprised if we're going to need it here. It's an unforgivable, but useful when you're outnumbered. Places the victim completely under the caster's control. So, if you'd like to learn Imperio, I can teach you. It's probably wise to know the spell. I couldn't agree more. A spell that could save your life shouldn't be unforgivable. You have a lot at stake. You have an ability that evidently no one's seen for centuries. Focus your wand movement. It's not an easy spell to master. Something troubling ahead. Be on your guard. Akio!
Dramatic, isn't it? Incendio. Accio. Expelliarmus. Accio. This catacomb has suffered decay, just as the student summary described. I doubt anyone's been here in quite some time. Incendio Bombarda Revelio Bombarda. Another barricade. Considering how well you did on the last one, this should be a cinch. <laughs> how gracious of you. I try. Levioso. Expelliarmus. Accio. Hmm. This looks different than what we faced before. Now we're also dealing with green symbols. Revelio. Arresto momentum. Accio. Arresto momentum.
Revelio. Arresto momentum. Accio. Arresto momentum. Accio. Arresto momentum. That worked. Keep going. Accio. Arresto momentum. Accio. Arresto momentum. Accio. Arresto momentum. Accio. Arrest the momentum. Wingardium Leviosa. Akio. Arrest the momentum. Akio. Arrest the momentum. Arresto momentum. Wingardium Leviosa. Accio.
Akio. Arrest their momentum. Akio. Wingardium Leviosa. You are head and shoulders above these bones. Nicely done. I see why Slytherin's student was so entranced with this place. Never end. Incendium. Dead end. Lovely. All that. We got him, Levios. Hold on. Don't give up yet. Sebastian, the relic. Look, could it be? The note and rendition of the relic. It matches. This must be where the student left the relic. I can't believe it. After all this, it lines up. We've really found it. What do you suppose is meant by the dark sacrifice required to realize the relic's potential? I have no idea, but we're here for the relic. The note advises to leave the relic alone. I assure you, we were meant to find this. For Anne's sake, I'm taking it. Let's get to Feldcroft. I must keep this relic secret, especially from my uncle. Wingardium Leviosa. Revelio. Is that ominous? Ominous. The sounds we kept hearing. It was you. You gave me no choice. I had to follow you. Sebastian, please, leave the relic alone. We can find another way to help Anne. I'm sorry, Ominous, but I'm taking it. No, you're not. If you won't put it back, then I will. Hold on, both of you. Sebastian, please, take a step back. Fine, but Ominous knows I won't step back from a fight. Can't believe this. How much did you hear? Everything. I was glad to hear you tell Sebastian to leave the relic. We need to stand together. Convince Sebastian this is wrong, 
And if nothing will change his mind? Something has to. I need your help. You're right. This seems far riskier than Sebastian realizes. Good. We're agreed. We don't allow him to leave here with the relic. I do think we should talk to him, but I fear we won't stop him from taking the relic. What are you suggesting? I'm suggesting we negotiate. We allow Sebastian to leave with the relic under one condition. After this, no more. I feel that's what we agreed to in the scriptorium. I'm being taken for a fool. You're not ominous. This may be the only way to keep your friendship intact. Let's trust him to know what's best. Fine. If I trust him on this, I'm trusting you too. The dark arts seem harmless until it's too late. <sighs> Go then. Leave with the relic. I'll not say a word more. I hope I don't regret this. Sebastian, we're ready. What is it? I haven't changed my mind. Ominous has. Let's go. What? Ominous? I'll explain on the way. Come on. Well, what happened back there? Ominous and I found a compromise. Ominous simply needs a moment with you and he'll change his mind. Is that it? I told him we ought to give you this chance, that the relic is too important to ignore. There has to be more to it than that. Tell me. We agreed on what was needed, Sebastian. You have my word. I never wanted to keep all this from Ominous. He just doesn't understand. And I... As we were leaving, Ominous wouldn't even acknowledge me. That's not like him. He was troubled, Sebastian. Even though we agreed to it all, it's been a lot to... He understood. He knew we couldn't give up. All of this is too important for Anne. <laughs> Reminds me of the time I nearly fell out of a car. When we get to Feldcroft. I'd rather Anne not know what had to be done to get this relic. She thinks like ominous. It had only upset her. Oh no, this isn't good. What is it? Smoke, over there, by the hamlets. Felkov's in trouble. They're under attack. Let's hurry. Bells glance off of me. He can't stop us. He won't stop me. Get back! Make some ah! 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 
Oh no, this isn't good. What is it? Smoke! Over there, by the hamlet! Felkov's in trouble! They're under attack! Let's hurry. Sister. With an unforgivable curse. From that damned book, no doubt. Your father would be ashamed. You've gone too far, Sebastian. Stay away from her. From all of us. <laughs> what did my uncle expect me to do? The Imperious Curse saved Anne's life. That goblin was going to kill her. You did what you had to do. If I have to keep proving that to my uncle, I will. He cannot banish me from my own home. From my sister. It might be best to let him calm down a while. May I speak to him? Perhaps I can help to ease the tension a bit. You may be right. Very well. Probably best if I get away from here for a while. I'll head back to Hogwarts. Imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder. What was he thinking? Pardon me, Mr. Sallow. What Sebastian did was inexcusable. You cannot possibly be about to defend him. 
Sebastian and I have encountered Ranrock's loyalists before. That goblin would have killed Anne. This family does not resort to using dark magic even against our enemies. What Sebastian did cannot be undone. That you are defending Sebastian's behavior at all tells me everything I need to know. You are as guilty as he is. Sebastian is to come nowhere near Feldcroft, nowhere near Anne. Unforgivable curses are so named for a reason. If I hear that either of you continues down this path, if either of you uses dark magic, I will notify the headmaster immediately. Why, Sebastian? It's like a place right out of a storybook. Revelio. Wingardium Leviosa. Expelliarmus. Accio. Incendio.
Expelliarmus. Bombarder. Glaciers. Protego. Wingardium Leviosa. Incendium. Incendium. Rebellion.
Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. speak with my uncle. I wish I had better news about your uncle and Anne. Well, what did he say? I'm afraid he wants you nowhere near Feldcroft. Nor Anne. I had to stop that goblin from killing my sister. He had no right to banish me from my own twin. <sighs> if he thinks banishing me means I'm going to give up on Anne, he's sorely mistaken. He also said he cannot excuse the use of dark magic in any form and that if he hears of either of us using it, he'll go straight to Professor Black. Huh? That relic, dark magic or not, is the key to saving Anne, to reverse that curse. I will not lose Anne for good. I should send the crest to Anne. She'll know that we need to meet. I'm afraid I don't follow. Nothing, just a thought. Now I'm more determined than ever to learn what power that relic has. I shall wait to hear from you then. Thank you. I very much appreciate you standing by me through all of this. I'll send you an owl when I have news. I wondered if you might teach me how to cast that curse you mentioned. Oh, which one? I'd like to learn how to cast the Cruciatus Curse. Very well. Now remember, your intention matters. And be precise with your wand movement. The incantation is Crucio. Are there any other curses you'd like to learn? That's all I wanted to learn for now. Thank you. Of course. You're the only one with whom I would entrust such knowledge. Let's speak again soon. Deke would like to talk with you when you have a moment.
You're safe. There you are. You were in such a state when you left. The poachers got to my gran. Someone recognized me in Horntail Hall and they got to her. What do you mean? Is she alright? She's fine, thank goodness. But they were at her house. Our house. They assumed I'd sent the egg there. She said they took the whole place apart looking for it. Screaming that we'd cost them everything. I'm sorry, Poppy. I'm glad she's all right. I don't think either one of us could have anticipated that. I should have known. I underestimated the poachers. And now another creature's in danger. What do you mean? The poachers refused to leave empty-handed, so they took valuable journals that Gran had discovered when she was researching rare creatures. One of them contained theories about a secret hiding place of the Snidget, long thought to be extinct. I take it you aren't going to let the poachers anywhere near the Snidgets. Gran wants me to stay out of it, but I know she's devastated that poachers might go after the Snidgets, if they still exist. We had the element of surprise on our side when we saved that dragon, but the poachers will be watching for us now. We need allies. Others who hate the poachers enough to help us, who value creatures as much Merlin's as- Merlin's beard! You're a genius! The centaurs, they'd want the Snidgets protected at all costs. Sounds as if we need to go and talk to the centaurs. We'll need to be careful in how... Still... I'll let you know as soon as I have a plan. Revelio. Revelio. Seems a pleasant enough little place.
Jen. A lost relic from a catacomb which requires a dark sacrifice. I know how it sounds, but if this can help you, it's worth the risk. Does Ominous yeah. know about this? He helped find the scriptorium where we discovered Slytherin's spellbook. Very well. If Ominous will be there, I'll meet you. We don't have much time. Solomon wants to leave Beldcroft. What? Leave? Never mind. You need to stall him. Buy us time, Anne. Please. I shall do my best. I'll be in touch. Solomon can't take Anne from Feldcroft. Where would they go? When would I see her? Sebastian, I can't believe my uncle wants to leave Feldcroft. Anne's going to stall him. She must. We need time. Time? For what? I've learned more about the relic. I cross-referenced Slytherin's spellbook with everything in the library on relic. That's when I realized something. I believe the relic will only work inside the catacomb. So we have to get Anne to the catacomb and then conduct a sacrifice? Seems... risky. It'll be worth the risk. Our biggest hurdle may be convincing Ominous. Anne will only give this a chance if he's on board. And we have to keep all of this from your uncle. If he goes to the Headmaster, well, he could be expelled. Let me handle Ominous this time. As for my uncle, he's not an Aura anymore. What he doesn't know, well, won't hurt us. Good luck with Ominous. Until we meet again. I shall let you know when the four of us should meet at the Catacomb. Look for my owl. See you soon. Who lives here? My first employment. Hello, night. What do you have for sale? What are we in the market for today? Pleasure doing business with you. You're welcome to stop by any time. Revelio.
dear. I shall get in trouble for this. You are here. Good. Is this Mr. Bickle's home? I believe so. He supposedly has evidence against Harlow. We need to speak with him. Why did he challenge that horrible man? Are you all right? We're looking for Mr. Bickle. My husband is dead. He killed him. Oh, I'm terribly sorry, Mrs. Bickle. Who killed your husband? Theophilus Harlow. I'm sure of it. He's been threatening my husband for weeks and... Oh, where is my son? Where is Archie? He must be around here somewhere. When did you last see him? Archie was home with his father while I was out. I hope he wasn't here when... Do you know which way Archie might have gone? <laughs> um, he has a little hideout in the forest south of here. He never wanders far. I'm afraid to leave. We'll find your son, Mrs. Bickle. Please do not worry. Where are you, Archie? When I took the letter we found to Officer Singer, she told me about Mr. Bickle. He had been doing the same thing we are, providing Officer Singer with evidence to take down Harlow. I had hoped to speak with him about what he had found, but we were too late. What did Officer Singer say about the letter you brought her? She thanked me, but she clearly felt that it was not enough. It is a shame that hippogriffs cannot speak. Your friend Highwing could provide all the evidence against Halo that we need. We will need something more. Revelio. This must be little Archie's hideout. That means. Archie? Archie Bickel! He would not have done this to his own hideout. Someone came here looking for him. Revelio may be our only hope of finding out which way he went. There! Archie's footprints! He went this way! I thought we would have found Archie by now. I suspect he'll keep running if he's being followed. If it is Harlow that's pursuing him, I only hope you're right. Men like Harlow would not think twice about killing a child. We must find Archie quickly. Wolves! Prepare for... 
didn't cross paths with that wolf pack. We should look around. Revelio. Archie Satchel. Why would he leave it behind? He was likely running from Halo, distracted. This may be a good time for Revelio again. Archie went this way. I have a bad feeling about this. Halo must have a reason for pursuing Archie. I wonder what Archie saw. I hope he didn't see Harlow kill his father. He would never overcome it. At least not in any way I can imagine. A fork in the road. We will need Revelio again. Revelio. Multiple sets of footprints. Oh, Harlow caught up to him here. This is not good. They went this way. You can see Thestrals too. I witnessed death when I was nine. Saw my first Thestral shortly thereafter. I found comfort in it. I still do. I think those of us who have witnessed death deserve some comfort. I'm sorry you experienced something like that at so young an age. I was with my father when he died. My mother was away. Arrest over there. I felt quite helpless. It was a long time ago in some ways. But in other ways, it seems like it was only yesterday. I still see him so clearly. You must miss him. My father was a wonderful man. I... <clears throat> Let us keep moving. Revelio. We must find Achi. Taking in children now, are we? Better not be expected to feed. They have access.
got what they deserved. Did not expect this tent to be so large on the inside. That complicates things a little. Saw it happen, do you? Of course he did. Why else would he have bought? We just a child. We should release him. This is the sort of thing that could draw unwanted attention. Harlow mm -hmm. will decide what to do with it once he gets back. Archie. Archie Bickle. How do you know who I am? Your mother sent us to find you. Oh, I'm so glad to see you. Not too loud, Archie. Sorry. We need to get this open. Uh. Hello, Hamora. Sorry, Archie. We won't let him get away with it. But first, we need to get you home to your mother. Thank you for saving me. We wouldn't have it any other way, Archie. Now let's get you home. We know a safe way back. Otto's name. Oh, I shall speak with them. You run inside. Yes, mother. Your husband's friends may be in danger. Just as he was. How can we help? You've done enough. My husband was a powerful wizard and couldn't defeat Harlow. 
The last thing we need is that monster coming after you. We don't want to worry you. I'm sorry again about your husband, Mrs. Bickle. Thank you. And thank you for bringing Archie home. I can never repay the two of you for your kindness. Not to worry, Mrs. Bickle. My father used to say that rain does not fall on one roof alone. We are here to help each other. I must learn more about Mr. Bickle's friends and why Harlow is after them. You'll be hearing from me as soon as I know something. Thank you for your help today. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. I can do this. I can do this. They will want to help. Is this where we're meeting the centaur? Well, they don't exactly know we're coming. Once we tell them about the Snidgets, they'll understand why we came and they'll want to help. I hope you're right. Perhaps they'll be able to tell that we're sincere. There's something about them that's so knowing. It's almost unnerving. I suppose they are known for... That's exactly the right word. I just... never mind. It's nothing, truly. That's right. We'll simply be honest with them about what we're trying to do. They'll... Yes, of course. We'll meet with them, tell... What do you think you're doing here, humans? Please! We were hoping to speak with you. Ah! I suppose you'd like a tale for your friends of the time you spoke to a centaur and it spoke back. No! Never! We're here because we need your help. Enough! You made a grave error in judgment in coming here, little witch. Leave them be, Alec. We do not harm the young. It is not our way. You forget your place, old fool. I'm the leader of this herd, and while you cling to our way, their kind continue to slaughter beasts like us without a care. From what I can see, they have slaughtered no one. They will leave here unharmed. Mark my words, Doran. If I ever see them again, it will be all three of your heads. Foolish children. Do you know what happens to wizards who wander here? Now, follow me before Golden I... Golden Snidgets are still alive, and the poachers are after them. They know that the key to finding them lies in the moonlight, but they don't know what that means, yet. 
Please help us find the Snidgets before the poachers do. Could it be? In the south, there is a cave within which lies what the poachers seek. A moonstone. Retrieve it and place it in the henge in the forest. I, on the other hand, must go speak with the herd. Find me after you have done this. I don't understand. So the moonlight mentioned in the journal doesn't refer to actual moonlight, but to a moonstone. What do moonstones have to do with Snidgets? And why was he so certain about where we could find one? I don't know, but I am inclined to believe him, what with his being a centaur and all. I am too. It is a shame how quickly he left. What was his name? Doran. That's what the leader of the herd called him. Well, if Doran knows something we don't, I'd rather act now and ask questions later. I can head to the library and start looking into the cave he mentioned. I'll let you know what I find. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented the So frustrating. You wanted to speak with me, Mother? I had hoped to speak with you alone, Natsai. Your message mentioned your concern about an unusual creature that was spotted in the woods near Hogsmeade. That could have been anything. You know what it was, Natsai. I am allowed to leave the castle. I am always careful, Mother. Careful? Officer Singer disagrees. She sent me an owl telling me that you have been trying to collect evidence of some kind against dark wizards. She berated me for not keeping a closer eye on you. And she is right. I do not want you visiting Hogsmeade for the near future. But Mother! My little gazelle, you are well-intentioned, but you must not meddle in the affairs of dangerous people. If someone had meddled in matter... Perhaps your friend can get you to listen to reason. So frustrating. She never listens to me. She called you her little gazelle. Is that a term of endearment where you're from? It is specific to self trans And it is in my gazelle form that I have been able to wander the highlands rather freely until now. Much to my mother's chagrin. That is how I managed to spy on Rookwood and Harlow. Now the nickname makes sense. What an extraordinary ability to have. It... She says then... She claims... But she has used her... She's concerned for your safety. It may... That may be safe. You could have fled. I choose to act as you have. <laughs> My... Thank you for being here during that rather awkward conversation.
What are you up to now? Adelaide Oaks. Yes, I'm Adelaide. You see, my, he normally sends me in his last act. What with the trolley? Should I be worried about? I think you're right to be concerned. You're much. I'll try and look into it for you, Adelaide. Thank you. In fact, in his last, I do hope you're. I hope Adelaide's Uncle Roland is all right. She seems very worried. Adelaide mentioned her uncle's camp may be near Brockborough, past the river. This be Mr. Oakes' campsite? Ranrock's loyalists. Just what have we here? Another human. Get off spells, glance off of me. I've been fighting since before you were Not quiet. Easily diverted. Confringo! Incendio! Accio! That was meant for me. Was that your best? said that her uncle kept notes of his trades, maps. Perhaps these like Mr. Oakes's trade journal. Mr. Oakes's trade journal.
A rock formation? That's the first landmark on this map. Now to find the crooked tree. Incendio! This could prove dangerous if I'm not careful. Revelio. The ministry ought to relax their feelings towards me. I heard you. You're Oh, here's a pleasant surprise. Rebellion. Incendio. Revelio. Confringo. Revelio. Abandoned long ago, no doubt. Incendio! Confringo! Incendio! Confringo! Incendio. 
Incendio. Confringo! Incendio! Confringo! Malin himself would be proud. What do we have here? But I'm better. Trouble's brewing and I'm without my... Hmm... I may have more luck higher up in the keep. A ladder. That's what I need. see myself doing this sort of thing forever though. Fancy I'll have my own operation worked out one day. People working for me. Quiet. Not quiet enough. Not the best place for an unaccompanied student. This is the spot on the map. I'd best have my wits about me. Get your spells glance off of me. This is too easy. I've been fighting since before you were born. If you could best the likes of me, you must have a lucky shot.
What will we find in here? <laughs>